Alright guys, so welcome back. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for the end of the last video. Uh, my laptop was just acting a little bit funny and that's about all there is to it. Um, <laughs> shortly afterwards, by the way, I got the blue screen of death, so I had my fingers crossed for a little while. Um, but yeah. So, um, we were working on the game over um, last time, so let's just see um, how that looks. And... Um, Alright, so it seems to be working, and if I hit restart, the game restarts again. Um, you probably noticed that there's this change in color. Um, this is entirely not your fault or my fault, it's just the Unity editor. Um, it has something to do with the lighting, the auto-generated lighting, and um, the second time when you run the app, the it doesn't generate properly or something like that. Um, and don't worry about this, because this is not going to happen if you actually build a game. So if you were to go and build it executable, and if you were to play it, then... Um, it would work perfectly fine you just have to take my word for it and if you don't believe me then go ahead and try it out as well um, so yeah uh, things are looking uh, okay things are looking all right so the main menu doesn't, button doesn't work but that's okay uh, the other thing I want to do really quickly is I also want to go ahead and put some sort of a score okay so I was thinking um, in between videos that the score should go probably somewhere here in the top left right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a UI um, image first of all and in the source image what I'll do is I'll just use the stock one that they give because it's not so bad uh, and I just want this to be the background for my um, score so that it's visible behind the scenery um, now I want this in the top left corner so I can click here and I can click on this one and if I hold down shift I can um, I can shift and click and I'm, I can also move by anchors there so basically if, if I show you what that does is look um, you can see that it's anchored all the way here in the top left corner. So now if I hit um, 0 and 0 and 0, then basically it sets the origin of this little uh, image right here. And I can rename it as um, score background image. So score BG image. Okay. Uh, and let's um, make it about like so, 200 in width. And let's see what that looks like doesn't seem to be looking so nice to be honest um, so let's try and turn down the opacity of it um, like so and let's just see how that that would look um, let me just see let me just um, try and see and hit play and let's see what that looks like um, okay so I think that I can live with that um, so let's let's go ahead and put a UI text element okay and um, we can do a couple of things so let's go ahead and child that to the image and now if I hit, um, if I, um, if I set it to 0, 0, 0, it will automatically move um, right in between the image to its parent, okay? So uh, what I will do is I will center it and center it like so. Um, again, if you remember, we did this last time, the alignment. So it basically just aligns it in the middle um, when you hit both of these as centers, right? Um, so align, aligning it horizontally and vertically. Uh, and this is, we're going to be changing the score um, obviously from script but just to see what it looks like um, let's just put 99 um, just to get an idea and um, let's see let's make it uh, a little bit bigger uh, and of course it's again it's getting too big so um, let's make it size a little bit bigger and let's make it 200 by 200 and now I can um, once again make it bigger like so and I think it looks okay um yeah i think it looks okay uh do i need to change anything else no i think i'm fine with that so i'll go ahead and rename my text as score text so this will be my score text okay so we've got our score text here and basically we want to update this as we pick up our um, gems right so once again you probably realize that um a good place to do this would be in our on trigger that's where we were registering um, the pickups, right? So in our on trigger over here, we were doing if the other dot game object dot tag. So if the game object uh, that we just triggered has a tag of pickup, then we were setting it active. So this is probably a good place to um, update our score. So first of all, we need some sort of an integer. So I'll go all the way to the top here, and I will make a. Uh, I think a private integer will be fine for now, and I'll just call it score. And by default, I'll make it zero. Um, and what we will do is every time we pick up, uh, so every time we fire on trigger, that is every time we 
um, you know, um, basically have a trigger with a pickup that I can pretty much just increase the score. So I can do score plus plus or something like that. Um, once again, uh, just ignore these things. So these I can get rid of. And over here, I'm just talking about, uh, you know, some pickup sounds and such. But again, ignore these. You do not need to write these down. And we will look at them when the time is right. Um, so I'm increasing the score now. And what I want to do now is I want to start updating my UI. So in order to update this text here, I need a reference to it. Okay. So once again, we can go all the way to the top and we will have, we will declare a new variable. So. Oops. Okay, so I will do public text and score text. Just by the way, um, if you get an error uh, when you use this text, then you need this um, namespace here using Unity Engine.ui. And once you import that, then it should allow you to have this uh, allow you to use this text uh, object type. Okay, so we have a public um, score text of type text. If I save it now and if I go back onto my taxi, and once it um, registers. Uh, then you'll see an empty space here. Okay, so it's expecting a text. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll drag and drop this onto here. So now we have a reference to our score text and we can um, change it via code, okay? So what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, basically here, we are um, implementing our score. And uh, what we want to do is we want to display our score right over here. So we can we can display our score every single frame um, for now. Again, it's not the most prettiest solution, but um, we'll just we'll just stick with it. So I'll come over here in my update, and what I can do is score text dot text equals. And if I just do hello for now. Just to show you, uh, whenever you do score text dot text, this is basically going to set this um, string here as your score text. So if I were to save and if I were to go back, then I expect over here instead of score 99, it should say hello when the game runs. All right, so fair enough. Okay, so what I want to show here is um, I wanted to show something like score and semicolon space plus and the score. Um, and let's try and see what happens here. So basically, this is just a string and I'm adding it to an integer. It's called string concatenation. Uh, and I think this should work just fine. So initially, it should show a score of zero. And if I now give my taxi some speed, then hopefully um, the score should update. So every frame, it's updating our score, but at the moment, we haven't picked up any pickups. So, you know, our score is zero. And sure enough, things seem to be working just well. Now, if I can maybe, since the speed of the car is slow enough, maybe if I could get to 99, I just want to see if we don't run out of space. Um, yeah, looks like I'm doing pretty good. You can obviously realize that the game is a little bit too slow right now, but once again, it's... That, that has to do with tweaking. Uh, but yeah, the game is, the game is um, coming alive just quite well. So yeah, it, it seems to be working just well. And if I hit an obstacle, then the game stops. Uh, oh, so one thing I want to do here is that when the game, um, when when we collide with, uh, with an obstacle, then I want to disable the score and I want to show the score over here in between, right below my game over, uh, as we talked about. So. What I can do here is on my game over function, what I can do is score text um, dot game object dot set active false. So I'm setting that score text initially. Um, first of all, I'm going to set it to false. So when the game finishes, I don't want this score to be here. So very quickly, um, we can have a look and see what, what that does. Let's increase the speed. And as soon as the game finishes, that goes away. Um, obviously, you realize that the background is still there. So uh, maybe what we can do is we can just disable the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, let's do that as well. Um, let's just do another public um, image score background. Let's save it. Let's go over here. Let's drag and drop our background as well. <laughs> And 
And as I said, um, uh, these public variables are not necessarily good practice. There are other ways of doing it. For example, I could have probably gone from our having our score text as public and I could have uh, crept up to its parent uh, by code. But, um, you know, this is a beginner friendly tutorial and we're not really looking into the 110% best practices. And we are still looking at some of the cool things like um, object pooling and such. But yeah, this is just like a warning. Um, just to let you know that, uh, you know, that many public variables is probably not such a great idea on a large scale or a proper uh, project. So uh, we've got our score background uh, and now I can simply disable that um, over here in my game over. So score background dot game object dot active as false. So <clears throat> now both of these should go when our game finishes. Boom. Okay, the next thing we need is we need a text element here uh, and we need to show it the score, which is pretty straightforward. So uh, I'm going to activate my game over menu. I'm going to put in, I will just copy this game over text and just duplicate it. And this will be game over. So this is pretty much just for the aesthetics and I'm sure you guys can um, do this on your own as well. Um, and I'm going to make the size of the text a little bit smaller and let's move it down like so. And I think that looks just fine. Uh, maybe a slightly different shade. Yeah, like so. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I think this will be fine. Just uh, I'm just going to just tweaking the colors a little bit so that I think it looks a little bit prettier that way. Um, all right, so um, we've got the score here, and this is the game over score, and we need to wire this up, right? Um, so once again, uh, what we'll do is we'll go over here, we'll make another public variable. So public text um, game over score. And what we can do is once again go over here in our game over menu and over here we set the game over menu as active and now what we can do is game over score dot set text so dot set um, dot text sorry not set text equals uh, and what we want is we want something like scores and plus the score okay so I think this looks fine. Uh, once again, this is the same thing as we did before. Uh, this is the, the text um, that we got um, from the inspector. And uh, when I do dot text, then this is how you pretty much put a, you know, uh, this is how you put a text into a text. Um, <laughs> well, so you get what I mean. Uh, this is one of the ways how you can access this text field here and you can put in whatever value that you need to put in over here. So let's, um, disable the game over menu and let's see what it looks like okay so okay we've got our car moving jumping and it did not work um, so null reference error let's have a look game over score dot text okay so we clearly forgot to assign it um, so we are going to go, so as you can see over here, I forgot to drag and drop our game over score. So I'm going to do that now. Um, let's go over here. Let's clear the errors. Let's try it one more time. Hopefully everything is okay this time around. Um, so let's give our taxi some speed. And... Okay, so we've got our score working and boom, uh, it's not showing over here. You see your score here. And if I hit restart, then I'm ready to go again. So yeah, um, things are looking good. And um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, sorry about the last one one more time. 
And if you learned something nice uh, or if these tutorials are helpful for you, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment, let me know how I'm doing, if there's anything I'm doing wrong or if there's anything I need to improve on, if I'm going too slow, too fast. Well, not too slow because I'm purposely trying to go a little bit slow, but if I'm going too fast, then just let me know. And if you've got any questions, drop them, drop them down in the comment section and I will have a look. So that's all for now. And thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.